Welcome back to Legacy Barbell. My name is Peter. My name is Jared. And today we're going to talk to you about the best day of lifting. And I'm not talking leg day, I'm talking chest day. We're going to show you the fundamentals of building a bigger chest. So stay tuned, we have a great show for you. First stop on our game train today is the incline barbell press. The first thing you do when you come to this station is set up your bench right. The biggest misconception about this is everything's like, just throw the bench in there and I'm good to go. No. If you don't set it up right, you're going to hurt yourself more than prove yourself. Set it up properly, you want to slide the bench in, center the barbell. What this does is it evenly distributes the weight, so you're not too far to the left, not too far to the right, everything's good to go. So after you do that, you want to set up the IC. You want it all the way up, this is going to prevent you from sliding off the bench. Last step, you want to position this to a point where it's even with your style of method. You don't want to go too high, because you, otherwise you start working shoulders, you don't want to go too low, because then you hit the mid-range, the low-range chest. After this, you get set up on the bench. Your spine is going to be on the center of the bench. Again, distributing the weight evenly. Your hand position is going to be where your elbows are tucked. And what this does, it's going to allow you to pull up on the bar, rotate your shoulder blades back, hold in that position, put your back back on the bench. What this is going to do is you can have a space between the smaller your back and the bench so that when you automatically isolate the chest. When you push up, you breathe out. When you come down, you're breathing in. Again, with the shoulders at a flex position. When you come up, you don't lock out. There's no point in locking out unless you're in a competition. You always want to stay in a flex position. This way, you're always flexing the muscle. So go back down. A normal set is 10 to 12 for your working matters. And always remember, barbell to chest. Doesn't count. When you're done, <laughs> lower it down, nice and safely, and then you're good for the day. The second stop on this game train is the dumbbell bench press. Now obviously there's no real setup to this. The only thing you gotta worry about is keeping your spine centered with the bench. This way, again, weight distribution. So he's gonna pick up his weight, put it on his thigh, and what this does is when he kicks back, he's not struggling to pick up his weight, which could also cause a snap city injury. Again, your form on this is impeccable. You want to keep the dumbbells on an even plane. What this does, elbows tucked. He's going to push up. He's going to breathe out. When he comes back down, he's going to breathe in, resetting for the next set. He's going to keep going. 10 to 12 on a working set. Always remember form. Lack form with the heavy weight, you're not doing exercise properly, you're not going to get anything out of it other than an injury. After he completes the set, he's going to throw his dumbbells down nice and gently. This way he's not coming back forth and causing an injury. Next step we're going to do is over the cable flies. Last stop on our game train is cables. What people don't understand about cables is it's very beneficial to a chest workout. What it does is assess the standards with the small muscle fibers so you can be able to build a bigger chest. So the first thing we're going to do is the upper chest low fly. We're going to start by putting all the settings down as low as you can go. Grab both the cables. Taking a wide step out, chest out. Your first movement is going to be all the way up, coming to a 90. You don't want to go any higher because it will hurt your shoulders in today's chest day. You can come back down even with the serratus while breathing out. When you come back up, breathing in when you come back down, you're going to do 15 to 20 reps. Again, you don't have to do a heavy weight on cables, you can get an awesome workout with just light weight. This is a great way to build an upper chest. The next exercise I'm going to show you on cables is the high chest fly, which is going to work your lower chest. So to set this up, you got to set it up nice and even to a point where you're not flexing out. So high to the point where you're putting more strain than you need to on your shoulders. For you tall guys, I suggest you go on your knees because this way you'll get the full range of motion that you need without being able to hurt the equipment or possibly hurt yourself. So what my buddy Jerry is going to do here is going to grab these cables, he's going to come down to a knee. Same thing as standing, you want to have a chest out, you're going to come down, flexing out, you're going to come back up, make sure your arms are spread wide. But not too wide to the point where you're putting strain on your elbows. You come back down, 
Again, back out. Breathing when you come down. Breathing in when you come out. When you get ready to finish this exercise, do me a favor. Don't slam the weights. Be courteous. Lean to one side, drop that weight. Lean to the other side, drop the other weight. Performs damage to the gym equipment and yourself. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Legacy Barbell. I get it, I get it. There's a thousand ways you can do chest. This is the way we decided to teach you. You can do all these exercises. If you don't have cables, if you don't have barbells, you can do them all with dumbbells or the actual plates. Leave your ego at the door. And if you decide to lift heavy, make sure you have a spotter at all times. And like, share, and subscribe our videos, okay? And if there's anything you want to see, or if there's any type of side notes you want to hear about, go ahead and comment them below. So always stay motivated, stay classy, and lift heavy as weight. Oh, and I forgot. Click right here to get 20% off all of our apparel. Woo!